What is whiplash? What are the symptoms? And how can you get relief? Whiplash is an injury that occurs when your body is suddenly forced backwards and forwards, moving your head and neck like a whip. It can happen with slips and falls, of course, but it's the most common injury that happens during a car accident, and it's one of the leading causes of chronic neck and back pain. While a minor prang may not seem like a big deal, new research has shown that even small accidents can result in significant injuries. The violent forces that occur during a car accident can cause damage even at low speeds. These forces have been shown to be up to 2,000 times greater than in normal activities. Most of these injuries happen because your head, being quite heavy compared to your neck, is whipped backwards and forwards very quickly. This rapid motion results in torn ligaments and injured discs. Sometimes even micro fractures can occur in the vertebrae in the neck. What about symptoms? Well, neck pain, obviously, but also back pain, headaches, confusion, and even depression may indicate that you've suffered a whiplash injury. You may not immediately notice any pain either because of the adrenaline spike at the time of the accident. For many people, these symptoms develop over hours or even a few days or weeks later. And until then, they go unnoticed until the initial shock of the accident wears off. So if you do have a whiplash, how long does whiplash last? Well, there's good news. With a proper evaluation and early treatment, there's a high likelihood of getting well within a matter of weeks. But you have to have the right care. Let's look at ligaments. One of the common injuries associated with whiplash is ligament tearing. Ligaments are the short, tough, fibrous bands of connective tissue that hold the bones in your neck together. Uh, as well as the other joints, of course. If these ligaments are torn, it can cause neck pain. The average time it takes to heal a ligament is about six weeks, with proper care. After the accident, the acute inflammatory phase lasts about 72 hours, as the soreness, initial soreness wears off. But the repair phase, the ligaments, takes about six weeks. But the final remodeling phase, where they, the, the soft tissues um, uh, knit together properly can take up to a year. This is where the soft tissues fully heal and get strong again. Unfortunately, a ligament injury that doesn't heal properly can result in osteoarthritis. It's worth mentioning that if you notice symptoms like a headache, dizziness or impaired memory, you may have suffered a traumatic brain injury, albeit a mild one. The more, majority of these people with these type of injuries uh, recover in three months. It may surprise you to learn that shoulder injuries, like whiplash injuries, are some of the most common challenges people face after a car accident. If you're driving and have your hands on the steering wheel at the time, the sudden forces created can result in a torn rotator cuff, the tendons and the soft tissues in the front of the shoulder here. Your shoulder is one of the most dynamic and unstable joints of the body, and one of the most complex as well. It's made up of a collection of bones, ligaments, tendons, and muscles. The rotator cuff in your shoulder is part of the ball and socket joint, which is made up of three bones. The arm bone, the humerus, uh, your shoulder blade, the scapula, and your collarbone, the clavicle. The supporting muscles, ligaments and tendons around there are designed to help you lift and rotate your arm. It's hard to ignore a rotator cuff, so you know if you've got one, it hurts. Signs of a tear include shoulder pain when lifting your arm, uh, weakness um, when lying down and a limited range of movement. Shoulder impingement has been estimated to occur in about 10% of people involved in car accidents. The risk of neck or shoulder pain seven years after collisions was three times greater for people who'd suffered whiplash injuries too. So ignoring a shoulder injury after a car accident is not a good idea. Your shoulder's designed to move, and if you try to just let it heal by itself, uh, then you're putting yourself at risk of a frozen shoulder. A frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis results from 
adhesions or st uh, uh, sticky bits that occur in the shoulder due to a lack of movement and it can cause severe pain and can take months to heal. Our team here can provide a complete evaluation and treatment plan to get you moving safely and heal quickly. Just give us a call or book online. Even if you don't feel immediate pain following a car accident, you may be tempted to think you don't have a problem. However, waiting too long to seek care has been shown to increase the chances that you'll need more aggressive interventions later on. So finding relief from pain soon after a car accident is important. Without a proper diagnosis and treatment, your body may begin to heal with more scar tissue than necessary. What's more, trying to work around your injuries can lead to additional stress on other parts of the body and uh, that can lead to additional injuries. Again, research has shown that active care involving range of movement, exercises, mobility and strengthening exercises can effectively reduce the pain. To give yourself the best chance of finding relief without the need for drugs or surgery, we recommend three simple steps. One, get a consultation. A complete evaluation can provide you with an accurate diagnosis and a treatment plan. Two, begin receiving care. After reducing the inflammation, movement-based techniques are often recommended to help you regain quality of life. Number three, stay consistent. Getting well is a process and staying consistent with your care and exercises will help heal as quickly as possible. Remember, even small accidents can cause injuries, so if you've been involved in a car accident, give us a call.